Hey, Ben. Hello, Caden. Today, Twitter. You ever heard of that? It's crazy. Never. Well, everyone has their own Twitter bios where they list all the things that they're good at, right? Except all those Twitter bios are dumb because they're not randomly generated. Okay. Yeah, you. I'm you following you so far. So let's randomly generate it, and then we make a person that matches the, the profile. That sounds like it's something you're not supposed to do. Profiling is bad. Exactly. We can't just sum up people based on the list of occupations they have. But oh well. <laughs> Art is meant to be on the edge. So exactly. let's do it. All right. We might have to do a couple rolls to get one that's decent because there's some terms in here I don't know, but I'm just going to roll and see what we get. Okay. Okay. So my person describes himself as an optimization zombie, a steampunk professor, corporate communications what? evangelist, <laughs> and promise keeper. Oh my gosh. Can you, can you like copy and paste that for me so I can reference it? Yeah. Okay. I've never seen a Twitter bio like that ever. <laughs> Man, this is a person. You've got a lot to work with. <laughs> okay, so it seems like they're in a job that they're not particularly happy with because they're describing themselves as a zombie, right? It's Yeah, it's either they're not happy with their current job or they are just so like focused on squeezing every bit of efficiency out of their workplace that it's almost like a zombie thing for them. So, uh, zombie, I'm just going to start with tired. Tired eyes. There we go. They also... Uh, have some flesh gone, but that's incidental. Have you ever heard of Thomas Frank? I don't know who that is. Why do you keep talking about people I don't know? Well, if you don't know, then I'll explain. All and right. uh, that will kill dead air. <laughs> <laughs> it's a YouTuber. He, he makes like videos about how to optimize your time and stuff like that. Oh, okay. He, he is who I think of when I hear optimization zombie. He's constantly talking about better apps to to make your to-do list and stuff. Oh, okay. Look at that smile. <laughs> well, I, I'm not sure if it's fully coming together yet, but basically I'm trying to um, to make someone whose flesh is partly gone because they're, <laughs> they've become a literal zombie. Oh, I see. I thought that was just a full-on grin. Like, the lips were, like, pursed tightly together. <laughs> Here, I'll draw off the side real quick. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's good. So, let's see. Give them bushy eyebrows. Super tired. Bushy eyebrows. Missing skin. That's all you need. Steampunk professor. Okay, we need some steampunk. Yeah, that should be easy. Just give them like a monocle or something and like a, a vest. Good. Those steampunk prof um, professors always dress really dapper. Monocle. Maybe give them like an aviator cap. I don't even know what that is. I'm so oh, it's like element with steampunk. It's what people wear when they're driving jets or flying jets. Hmm. You really don't know what that is? What that looks like? Not particularly, but I'll try my best. <laughs> <laughs> Just um, imagine like a leather cap and like some glasses on top. Oh, okay. Like, okay, yeah. Because they got the things that, that go down like that. Covering yeah, ears. you got it. Because planes are so loud. Maybe in this world, being a corporate communicator means you have to fly between buildings. Yeah, he f okay, that's it. It's a it's a steampunk <laughs> kind of world, and so he's a zombie um, because, I don't know, flight's dangerous in these days. Yeah, they're so like, he's a zombie, that's so why. They're like, let's hire, let's hire someone who's undead. So we can save on, like, life insurance. Exactly, and, uh, and this guy is, like, <laughs> an evangelist type, so he's like... He, he considers himself duty bound. Yeah, I mean, he's, he wears a lot of hats. Really, just the one hat, literally, but a lot of hats, metaphorically. <laughs> okay, yeah. Like, I, I only hear that term metaphorically, typically, but for some reason I was thinking very literally when you said it. Um, <laughs> probably because my brain's not working great, but oh well. I'm liking this dude. <laughs> I'm wondering how he's a promise keeper, though. I guess, like, he always makes the delivery or something? Yeah, I always make my delivery, no matter how much flesh is ripped from my face. <laughs> Man, <laughs> this is starting to sound familiar. <laughs> we should save this idea and then toss it to Sam. <laughs> oh, man, we, we've got a one-track mind, I guess, because that's all we think about is delivery people now. Um... <laughs> I think I think Sam would probably come up with like a whole backstory for for this person. <laughs> okay. They're like their distant ancestors, Amelia Earhart. 
I gotta, I gotta do what my great great grandmother couldn't <laughs> fly across the ocean without disappearing. Yeah. <laughs> no Earhart in the history of Steampunk Academy has ever flown across the ocean. Evangelist makes me think really prim and proper as well. Yeah, they gotta spread the good word. So he's wearing a button up shirt and tie. Maybe he works for a uh, Mormon. That's that's uh, what he's delivering for. Um, is a is a Mormon, a corporate Mormon company. <laughs> uh, I I drew the package without thinking of where the hand would go. Um, <laughs> it's just a square <laughs> that floats beside him. <laughs> <laughs> Uses his magic power. Oh, oh, it's a drone. It's a drone. I'm, I'm making the drone thing. Oh, that's even better. Now you don't have to draw hands. Exactly. <laughs> I, I'm just Easier taking to this, draw drones than hands. I'm just taking this opportunity to be, to be as lazy as possible, and no one's going to judge me for it ever. Yeah, I'm not judging you right now. Not yet. As far as you know. <laughs> okay, and uh, oh, now I gotta draw a drone now. Crap. Um, I know they got the four things, and then uh, just a little box in the middle. Pretty much. And then uh, just. <laughs> I do the <laughs> box. Hey, did you start the timer for the wheel? I didn't. God. Ugh. I had a feeling. I had a feeling you suck didn't do that. This. I suck at this show. Just fire me already. <laughs> you should You should just spin the wheel right now as penance. All right. <laughs> Spinning the wheel. The, <laughs> the luck of the draw wheel. Um, All right, great. let's do it. All right, in three, two, one, spinning. Oh boy. Monodextrous. We get this oh, no, one a decent amount, but uh, but this is the first time I'm doing it, so. Ooh, right at the part where you're drawing the drone. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pull up a timer for one minute. Oh, this is going to be hard. Um. <laughs> yeah, you're never happy when I do this. And I was like, oh, you cheated. Hmm. Well, it's because you cheat. I mean, I do, but you don't have to call me out on it. <laughs> I'm not going to cheat. I'm, I'm I'm sticking with this. I'm holding right. you to it. You're not allowed to pad these lines after you put them down. I'm They're not permanent. going to. All right. Okay. Timer starting and go. Go, go, go. All right. Oh, that was terrible. The box there. No, it's great. Um, And the rest of the lines. Let's go tight up. Okay. And then this guy... Got to draw Sorry, I, I dinged your package a couple times on the way over here. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a very good delivery person. And then <laughs> he's going to have uh, a remote, which is right here. Great remote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's a button. <laughs> I meant that to be a circle. Oh, no. That explains why he lost control <laughs> of the uh, package. And, um, and the fingers, I guess, go over here. I didn't think about this hand position. I thought you were not going to draw a hand. Like, this was the whole point. I needed more to draw. I wasn't just going to draw shoulders and leave it be. Um, <laughs> All right, you're a trooper. <laughs> okay, and then uh, let's draw a cuff around his hand or something. Okay, thank God I'm done. <laughs> uh. I'm just uh, thinking about the absurdity of this whole, like, idea. <laughs> like, instead... They want to deliver packages by drone, but they still have to send somebody, like, with the drone like, long, long distances. <laughs> they gotta take care of it, and, and he didn't quite do good enough, but uh, <laughs> he, he tried. He, he's a promise keeper in in spirit, but, um, oh well. Yeah, he broke that promise. The promise of, like, a package that made Yeah, he's gonna have pack. to remove that from his bio soon, um, because he broke this one. That's why he's so uh, sad looking. I'm gonna make him look more sad because he, he broke his promise. He's like, "Oh, now I gotta change my Twitter bio. I'm no longer the promise keeper I wanted to be." <laughs> he's gonna get canceled. Oh no, not Jeremy the drone operator. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> I don't know what else I can do with this exactly. I think you're good. Like, I think you're you're good. <laughs> All right. You do this really quickly. I'm astonished. <laughs> oh, his hair is black. Oh, what's his Twitter handle? Um, Man. Um, Dead on arrival? I don't know. Oh, that's perfect. DOA. 
D O A Jeremy. That's it. Okay. Nobody take that Twitter handle. That's reserved for him when he comes into being. I'm sure it's here to claim. <laughs> Some guy named Jeremy who's like a big Dead or Alive fan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ready to get started? Yeah. Uh, give me a Twitter bio. Okay. Your Twitter bio. A Candy Crush Hound. A data okay. visionary. An iOS refugee. So I guess they're they're uh, an Android user now. And a widower. <laughs> And a widower. Because <laughs> that's, that's something you want to advertise in your bio, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. First things first, I gotta draw a line. Draw that line. Whoa, that's a big line. Yeah. What's that for? Um, it's the side of a mountain. Uh, uh, oh, okay. What side of a mountain? Wait, why is there a side of a mountain? I don't. I'm getting very confused now. <laughs> There's well, nothing about said... mountaineering. No, there's not, but it did say that they're like a refugee, and I thought maybe this is somebody who it was uh, hiding out from technology, and they don't, they want to be off the grid. Oh, so I just took that as a very simplistic, oh, I'm out of the iOS now, I want the Android, or I want the, that Google Pixel technology. You're like, I, I found the error of my ways with iOS, and I know now that all technology is bad. Well, maybe like they were like really high up in like a uh, meta... <laughs> facebook <laughs> and so like they are super wanted because they the uh they were going to change the game with their vision whoa and then facebook like we can't let that happen yeah they're data so, visionary uh, okay so they mark zuckerberg is after this person they were deep into ios systems i don't know enough about technology so i'm just going with it and and everyone can think <laughs> i'm stupid um they were deep into iOS technology, and they found a way to <laughs> to find themselves a really great grandstanding in the metaverse. <laughs> they could, I mean, they could really just like hack the system and 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 bleed it for all of its money and value and all that stuff. No, that makes them sound like they're greedy. Down. Oh, is that not it? No, they were going to make like a, a better world for everybody. Whoa. <laughs> They were gonna make a, a metaverse without without all those weird crypto um, issues. Exactly. Okay, that makes sense. So, yeah, so they're climbing a mountain. <laughs> so he kind of just wanted he had this idealistic version of like the Ready Player One type of metaverse. Yes. Rather than exactly something it. driven by by money. Yeah, he wanted everybody to be happy playing video games inside a, a virtual world. It's good. That's really nice. It's like and like we could make VR chat better. <laughs> That's the vision. <laughs> Rather than just making it again with crypto. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> You're a madman. All right, so this person is a widower, and that means I'm going to draw an urn. <laughs> oh, they're carrying their <laughs> their dead uh, wife with them wherever they go. Yeah, Zuck, Zuck got uh, that person. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess that makes sense why there's, there's some real stakes to this story. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Is, is Zuckerberg coming after them personally, or is it one of his underlings? Do you know, do you think he doesn't have the time to do it? But I imagine if this was like a movie in the third act, then there'd be like a face to face confrontation between them two of them. Yeah, he's like the guy pulling the strings. He's like the Lex Luthor of the of the story. Yeah. Now, how does Candy Crush come into this though? Because <laughs> yeah, I haven't figured that part out yet. <laughs> like, if he's avoiding all technology, how is he going to be such a hound at Candy Crush? Oh wait, I remember that now. What, you erased his face? What? Yeah. Oh no! What's going on? What, a, a dog? Oh, yep. <laughs> a literal hound. Okay. <laughs> Was he a hound born of the Candy Crush? Or I don't. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know either. I'm just trying. Like, why is he a Candy Crush hound specifically? Um. Well, he likes candy. He likes crushing it. So it's very literal. Aside from all this technology stuff, he doesn't actually play Candy Crush. Yeah, and um, I'm going to draw like a little bag down here. His, then... his Twitter bio is very like misdirecting. <laughs> <laughs> aside this from like candy. Aside from like Widower, he, he, like none of it is like surface level accurate. Yeah, this is all candy. <laughs> He is going to climb. So he's going to climb to the top of the mountain where he can safely crush his candy <laughs> away from <laughs> away from Facebook's prying eyes. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I think I got Candy Crush Town, Data Visionary, Refugee, Widower. So all I need to do is draw some legs. <laughs> that's, that's all that was needed to, to uh, round this out. <laughs> <laughs> to really pull this together. <laughs> You'd think like Mountain Climber would be part of it, but this is just his first time climbing a mountain, I guess. He's just doing surprisingly well at it. He had to get away. So wait, one thing that is bothering me is the human ear. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. a good, good find. The timer for the wheel has gone off. Uh-oh. It's time for the luck of the draw yet again. Are you ready? I'm ready. Spinning the wheel. Let's go. Your dog person will now... Something to do with insight. I don't we remember what that one is. Must consult our document. Add an eye. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it. That's all it is, is add an eye. All right, here's what I'm going to do. All right. Is it <laughs> You're tying it together with a drone. <laughs> oh, that's great. So he's always got the eye of a... Uh... Is, that, is that an enemy drone or is that his own drone? That is his own drone that he uses to just like, you know, constantly be one step ahead. Nice. So, like, this thing will uh, scout around and tell him what, what the lay of the land is, if there's any enemies coming up. Yeah, I'm assuming it doesn't use internet because like Facebook has its pause and everything. So it's just. Yeah, it's all analog. Gotcha. It uses film reel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I, it, I mean, it looks like a projector. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> Okay. Um, well, the film gets really expensive because it's so hard to come by these days, but... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's how he pays for it. He's like a Candy Crush champion. <laughs> Wait, he's a candy... You mean a literal candy crushing champion? I don't know. <laughs> However you want to interpret it. <laughs> From his, his village, um, hates candy, and so they have a ritual wherein they crush it and he is the, <laughs> that's a choice <laughs> he is the master candy crushing hound and then some mountain texture that's what mountains look like i don't know mm -hmm. how to draw mountains they're just squiggles to me you know shapes everywhere yeah <laughs> <laughs> and like down here in the bottom is like a little town i just imagine like a mini series where he's just kind of going town to town and, and making friends and helping people and he's just putting and then, together a team he first he has to find Edward Snowden. <laughs> in this universe, he's always in. He's in the Snowden village. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I'm good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I think we've done fantastically. These are two people that would be avid Twitter users, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should give him like a chest strap. Before we there we go. There you go. Okay. His backpack was just kind of hanging there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think we've done it. Another episode down. Yeah, finally. We can stop recording this. Ugh. I feel like my... Whenever I'm doing things without thinking, it really gets crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I actively try to make mine crazier because I feel like that would be more fun, but... <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could... I can't do it the other way where it's like, oh, this makes sense. I'm just like, <laughs> all right, I just have to chase down these thoughts because my brain won't stop thinking them. <laughs>